very good afternoon students let's start with the third video on the properties of electric charges in the first video i have talked about the definition of electric charges and in the second video which i have shared with you that was uh, related to your type of electric charges now i'm going to share the third video which is on the properties of electric charges so the very first property of electric charges that like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other you might have studied in your previous classes about magnets that like poles repel each other and unlike pole attract each other this is the same way this is the same case as you have already studied you have studied that south south pole north north pole that is the like pole repel each other and opposite pole like north and south will attract each other similar is the case with your electric charges like charges means likewise positive positive will repel each other negative negative repel each other but positive negative that is unlike will attract each other so hopefully your first point is clear the first property is clear to you the second one is electric charge is conserved uh, now what does conserved mean conserved mean the the thing which uh, or the quantity physical quantity which doesn't change with the passage of time which remain conserved you can't uh, you can't change it actually so the charges electric charges basically are conserved likewise you have studied in your uh, previous classes about uh, energy conservation i believe that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but one form of energy can be created can be converted into another form same as the way of your electric charges but you can't say that uh, you can't uh, create charges of course you can create charges but you can keep this thing in mind that uh, charges are conserved that means it will not change with the time suppose i'm taking an example of an atom uh, suppose i'll take the example of helium atom helium is having of course uh, atomic number as two uh, which you will be studying in, uh, in your chemistry class ma'am will explain you about this the what uh, atomic number is suppose uh, i'll give you a simple example suppose electron helium is having uh, two electrons all right and uh, two protons suppose so you very well know i have already shared with you in the first video that electron is possessing negative charge so suppose minus two is the charge and proton is having i've already explained to you as positive charge so suppose plus two charge so in totality minus two plus two will give you what zero so that means if the charge is zero here so it will remain zero that means it doesn't change with time so it means that electric charge is conserved now come to the third point which is very 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 important point to understand electric charges are quantized that is it will be in multiples of small e now what what this small e is actually small e is known as elementary charge likewise you have studied in your classes previous classes that atom is the smallest thing uh, or uh, or if i take an example of a wall uh, if i'll take an example of a wall in which brick is the simplest uh, you know uh, constituent brick one brick is the simplest constituent suppose ek aapke paas wall hai aur usme sabse choti cheez kya ho sakti hai wo ek brick so vaisi elementary charge is the smallest charge that is called as the elementary charge so you will keep in your mind that electric charge is conserved which means a net charge is due to accumulation of electrons or removal of electrons uh i will explain it in a better way also uh i've explained in the second page explain this thing electric charge is quantized it means a substance or a body has electric charge which exist in discrete packets that means uh in step function in step function means i'll tell you suppose a body is having uh, five electrons so uh this body will suppose lose one electron okay now it is having four electrons now it will again lose one electron so it is having now three electron so you can say this is a step function you can't say after five you will likewise five ke baad jaise four electrons ho gaye four ke baad 4.1 4.2 4.3 4.5 five nahi hua directly kya ho gaya three so that means this is in discrete packet it is not in continuous manner likewise aap ye nahi bologe ki aapne dead electron bar nikal diya aapne 1.25 electron bar nikal diya you will not say in this way hopefully now this part is clear i guess uh so as written here that any charged body or a substance has total charge 
small q that means you will denote a uh, charge with small q letter that is the lowercase q which is an integral multiple of charge on electron now let me tell you what it is all about uh, as i've already told you the very very first property which was like charges repel each other unlike charges attract each other hopefully this one is clear second one is of course electric charges conserved which is written here also in electric charges can neither be uh, I'll, I'll move to this one electric charge are quantized which means what suppose a body is having charge small q we don't know the value we are just assuming small q is the value so if you want to calculate total charge on any of the body you'll write a formula that is capital Q in some books capital Q is written in some books small Q is written so it's up to you whether you want to use capital Q or small Q small Q is equals to plus minus n multiply by small e small e have already explained you e is the elementary charge its value is already fixed and its value is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb coulomb or you can write capital C which I have already explained to you in the second video when I explained about the charge on electron so here comes your very first formula of physics that total charge is equals to plus minus n e where n can be any number like 1 2 3 4 and e is your elementary charge and the value is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulombs now there is a question in your ncrt textbook third question calculate the number of electrons constituting one coulomb of charge they are saying Calculate karke batao ki kitne number of electrons honge a coulomb of charge mein. So, one coulomb means Q is given. Matlab charge is given. So, Q is one coulomb. And E we very well know that E is already the value is fixed which is 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb. We know the formula that Q is equals to NE. Positive NE rather we can write here. So, Q value of Q is already given in the question which is 1 n we don't know because we want to calculate number of electrons so we'll write it as, as it is and e is elementary charge you'll substitute here 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 now when you solve this 1 upon 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 you'll get 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 you can divide this this is very simple i will explain how likewise you have 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 so you can take it up so it will be 1 upon 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 plus 19 and when you will divide this you will get 0 0.625 into 10 raised to power 19 and finally you will get 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 electrons and that is the value for your n so here I am ending this video. I will recall, quickly recall all the properties once again. The very first property is electric charges, of course, are of two types. By convention, one is positive and other is negative. Second, unlike charges attract each other and like charges repel each other. And uh, third property, in an isolated system, net electric charge neither be created nor be destroyed. And uh, that means electric charge is conserved in an isolated system isolated system isolated system is system which is free from any type of forces uh, the fourth one is uh, electric charges are quantized so i already explained that charge will always be in the multiple of elementary charge n is the number so this is the multiple of elementary charge and one more thing which is not written here you can write it there that charge is a scalar quantity I believe that you all know what are scalar quantities. I've already explained you in the very first chapter of your ninth grade uh, that scalar quantities are those quantities which have magnitude but no direction. So charge is a scalar quantity. You can add this point here. I have taken these notes of a previous, uh, you know, previous year class students. I've arranged these notes. So there are some errors, but uh, when I'll send the video, you can correct it on the time. All right. Thank you so much for listening.